Let's fix a parser that is giving us like known store messages. It's not parsing uh, correctly. Now, in order to keep the video short, I'm going to be referring to other techniques and things like replaying logs and, and other parsing things. They are in the in the PDF. Links is in the video description. You probably have seen that already. So. Now, the, the, the first problem that we encounter is that if the logs are not parsed correctly, then auto discovery may not be very useful because it cannot uh, understand the nature of the, of the logs. So perhaps the first thing that you need to do is go into the log source management app and add a log source. I already did this. I click here. The, the example we're going to use is uh, is for uh, C-Secure Alert, this product over here. But uh, what I want to pass along is, are the technique, the mechanics of doing it. it. It doesn't matter that this is a mainframe log. They are all treated the same. So what I did is I, I went ahead and added uh, this. Uh, this is the IP address when the, where the logs actually uh, came from. And the protocol is uh, syslog and the identifier is the, that IP address where it is going to uh, come. So again, auto discovery uh, is out of the picture. Uh, let's replay uh, that uh, log and see what is it that we are getting. So as you can see, um, is identifying them correctly because that IP address is the one, the, the log source identifier that we chose. So it's, it's, uh, and of course, I forgot to mention that make sure that you have the run auto update to the parsers that IBM maintain are updated in your in your system. So you are not doing a, a work that maybe some developer has fixed or corrected. Let's pause the collection here and take a look at uh, one of these messages. So if we see, it has been able to extract a few things in there, but as you know, in order for a message from being first parsed and then mapped, is that you need to have an event name. Now, how does Curator get the event name? So the, the, the DSN, the parser, needs to have at least two components well parsed. One is the event ID and the other one is the event category. And then the mapping of those two is what it will give you the event name. So let's actually go into, the, into those logs and open one of them on the DSM editor. As you can see here, it's telling us that the parsing has failed. Why? Well, if we go, if we scroll here to the right and go on their event ID, we don't have one. We do have an event category, so that's half of the job, but not an event ID. Let's fix that. Let's say that the event ID, the event name we want to give is emergency user, right? Somebody has... Uh, log in with uh, some emergency credentials. And in order to do that, we need to scroll down and look at the event ID, and we're going to override the behavior because it's not uh, working well. And, and don't get hung up on the regex. I have videos that explain on the regex. I'm going to make the explanation simple in here. Uh, so let's go ahead and change that. Click Edit. And we're going to approach that part of the message with the column, we do the space, and what we want to grab is what it comes next. So we're going to open the parentheses for the capture, and let's say that we're going to grab the first uh, word. Oops, put this in the wrong place. So we got the first part, and notice that 
different color this is what it's going to capture let's grab also the user again this is not an optimized regex there are videos for that in, in, in my series but this is to, to make the explanation simple so let's repeat within the parentheses let's put it in space for the next character and let's uh, repeat the, this string so let's say that that is what we want and there's only one capture group here the one, only one set of parentheses so we put here dollar one and we are done notice that now this situation changed and said parse but not map so we are making progress so let's click here on event mapping and now click on the plus sign because the system is smart enough to suggest us you know what type of mapping we want to do and here it is so curator is going to put the event name another parameters again more on the videos on parsing on a Q on a, on a structure called QID so we need to click here on choose QID and we we are not going to use an existing one we're going to create a new QID for this particular event so we're going to put a more complete name here on the description I recommend you to go into the documentation in this particular case for C secure alert and look for the description of this type of message and paste it there so it will be more complete now that's the log source type that's fine and now we need to choose a high level category and a low level category and what I'm going to choose in here uh, may not be relevant you know, for the case of C secure alert what I'm showing again is the mechanic of fixing a broken parser so in here I'm going to use the high level category access and the low level category access permitted and I'm going to give this a highest severity which is 10. So we're going to click save. We're going to click OK and we're going to click create. So notice that we are now parse and map that's what we wanted and if we scroll to the right we see that we have uh, an event name good we can save these we can exit here and let's replay the event and see if we get a change so we click play and uh, replay the event and now you stopped it and look look you know, we, we got one of them fixed, but then these two are ignored. Let's take a look at what is it that we fixed already. And we can even see that this event is uh, properly parsed and has a QID. That one over there. That's the one we created. Let's go back and now fix this event. These are probably the same. And let's go back to the DSM editor because this is a different type of situation notice that this one is saying parse but not map if we scroll to the right we see that the we have an event ID system authority and an event category but not an event name because we need to give it uh, as part of a mapping so let's click on event mapping and click here plus to get the system to smartly tell us what is it that we want to do and repeat the procedure that we just did so we're going to uh, click here again on here we're going to create a new QID and we are going to call this event ID system authority granted the high level category is going to be again access so the low level category now it's going to be permission 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 change success and let's also make this the top severity because these are these are things that should not normally happen right let's click here save click ok and click create Now, 
it is also parse and map. Let's go back, let's click here save and exit and go back to the log activity tab and this, are, this is the first time that we replay them they were stored, we fixed this one, now we get these two let's uh, click play and replay the logs uh, one more time and, and voila, so we have fixed that uh, broken parser we have these uh, two events in fact we can pause it here and see that this one also has uh, a QID, if we open it up and we go here to map event we see that that's the next number on the QID being assigned now we can write rules and for example uh, we can build a rule that every time that uh, these events we're going to take the, the name of the user and we're going to put it into a reference set because we can use it for monitoring or whatever else we, we want to do later